When you wake up in the morning, rather than starting with the litany of judgment, just put your hand somewhere in your body and just acknowledge it. Just say, hey, thank you, body. Thank you. Because our sweet bodies, man, they're doing a lot of heavy lifting and they very seldom get acknowledged for it. Number two, if I had no judgment of me and no problems today, what would I choose? And what would that be like? By the way, these things are not part of, or not all of them, I should say, are part of the um, waking up miraculously. That's a 20 plus minute audio that is uh, got all kinds of other stuff on it. So uh, this is a, a quick primer for you. I think they're coming. Oh, there they went. Okay, I thought they were coming for me. Hello, beautiful people. This is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness from lovely Vienna. And yes, that is an actual real background behind me. Hello, sunset. Uh, what is the tool for today? Well, strangely, given that it's sunset, I figured I'd talk to you about waking up. You know, it's something that most of us do pretty much every day. Yeah. I know. Um, so I was having a conversation uh, with a friend of mine that I work with and she was saying, she's like, you know, um, I've started waking up, not, not from, oh my goodness, what do I have to do? And like, what do I have to handle and, and what's going on? But what are the possibilities I can choose and what can I create today? And part of that was from an audio that I created. I don't know if you know this, but I have these audios on particular subjects called You Got This. And they're sort of a, a mini deep wide dive really fast. And uh, they just dive in and change things. Well, I created one recently called Waking Up Miraculously. And I'm gifting it to you and everybody else. So please, uh, if you have a friend who could use it, please, 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 please gift it to them. <clears throat> if so many people tell me I listen to this thing every day, but Part of what I wanted to give you is just a couple of really quick things to change your day. Because you ever notice when you start off your day well, it can increase really dynamically. I'm gonna give you a different background. And if you start off your day where it seems like a bunch of poo, it just seems like multiplies the poo. So here's what we wanna do. We wanna start it off in a way that actually creates a sense of ease, a sense of joy, a sense of space, a sense of possibilities. And I know that's weird because most people are like, I, d I have that about one day a month. I know, I used to have the same thing. So I totally understand. This is about actually changing it, which is part of the gift of access consciousness and this whole conversation. So first thing you want to do is if I were truly, when you wake up in the morning, rather than starting with the litany of judgment, just put your hand somewhere in your body and just acknowledge it. Just say, hey, thank you, body. Thank you. Because our sweet bodies, man, they're doing a lot of heavy lifting and they very seldom get acknowledged for it. Number two, if I had no judgment of me and no problems today, what would I choose? And what would that be like? By the way, these things are not part of, or not all of them, I should say, are part of the um, waking up miraculously. That's a 20 plus minute audio that is uh, got all kinds of other stuff on it. So uh, this is a, a quick primer for you. I think they're coming. Oh, there they went. Okay, I thought they were coming for me. Ah! Um, um, so if I had no problems and no judgment of me today, what, what would that be like? And what would I choose? And what could I choose? Also, where can I put my attention today to create what I desire right away? And if I were truly creating my life today, what would I choose right away? So these are just a few really simple things. Another, an oldie but a goodie, a, a, an old time favorite of mine, all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. 10 times. And the suggestion is 10 times in the morning and 10 times in the evening. 
interestingly, that one little phrase can really start to create some space. See, different background for you. Okay, see that? See that thing? That's pretty cool. Um, so, all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. And also, what else is possible today that I've never considered? And how much fun can I have? And these are just a few, just a few, just a tiny few things that you can do to actually get your day started right. And then the other thing is, if I were truly, if I were creating my life from the joy of it today, what would I choose? Now, that's a moving target for a lot of us. You know, we live in a world in which it doesn't seem that most people are that interested in that whole joy thing. Most people are, are more interested in sort of getting through their lives so they can wake up again tomorrow and do the same thing. So part of this is about actually changing that so that you can actually start to have a sense of, if, if just ask the question once, okay? Um, if I were creating my life for the joy of it, what would I choose? And that's not to say that you're gonna get to do just everything you want, everything that's making you happy every single day, but starting that, doing it for a few days in a row, starts to create a place where you start to actually look for that. And have you ever noticed you get a lot more of what you look at? You get a lot more of what you focus on? So, those are some really quick suggestions for waking up and realize also that the way we wake up is such a determinant of what gets created in the rest of our day. And those moments that we have, those quiet moments before we start checking our phone and before we start interacting with all kinds of people in their headspace, those quiet moments are ours. Those quiet moments can be the beginning of creating something different, not just one day, but day by day by day. And that is really where the gift of this comes in. One other thing I want to give you, since I know a lot of you know the clearing statement, which is all of the presumptive realities I have, all of the projections, expectations, separations, judgments, and reactions, rejections, oops, that I have or anybody else has, destroy and uncreate all those. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, po beds, and beyonds. And I do that a few times too, because one of the things we do is we, we tap into all the points of view that everybody else around us has. And the weird part is that becomes a starting point for most of us, most of the time. Now I've got a lot of, I've got an entire playlist on who does this belong to. And it's something that is so helpful. So please go check that out also, because that becomes a, that's a dynamic tool to use so that you can be, to be present with you and as you, rather than with the 98% of thoughts, feelings, and emotions that everybody else is living from. So there. So that's my suggestion. That's my invitation on this tour of consciousness. And by the way, uh, thank you all so much who have commented on my YouTube videos and had gratitude for things like the 10 hour loop and International Being You Day and the three hour ESC loops uh, I'm just so grateful. That for me is the greatest gift there is, is you guys receiving it. Because that's why I do it. Because 23 years ago when I started this, well, not only was there not a, a YouTube thing, but like this stuff wasn't available out there in the world like it is now. And I'm just so grateful to bring it to you. So please, if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe so other people can find it. Because you know how algorithms work. Not algorithm, like like if Al Gore had rhythm, which I I don't I I don't know, but I don't I I don't think he probably does. So I don't know how like his name is everywhere, but anyway, I digress. Thank you very much for watching from the lovely See You Dad Day Vienna. Yes, I know that's not Viennese or Germanese or whatever Viennese is what if you truly being you are the gift the change and the possibility this world requires i thank you for being in the world my beautiful friends i look forward to meeting you in person someday and give you a really big hug Bye -bye.